What's up, guys, and welcome to my review for Thanksgiving. This is a film that came out around Thanksgiving 2023 and has just recently hit Blu-ray. This has been on digital for a little while, but this was one of those titles I said, you know what, we're going to wait till it comes out on Blu-ray to support the format and watch it, and I'll, I'll review it then. So we just got finished watching it, and this movie is directed by Eli Roth, and it is based on the 2007 short film that is a parody on movie trailers, as I read. Um, I've never seen the short film. It might be available on YouTube. I'll have to check that out. But this film follows the story of a Thanksgiving slasher. This is a person that dresses up as a pilgrim and man murders people on Thanksgiving because there's been a massacre. A Black Friday Thanksgiving massacre in a place called Wright Mart. I believe it was called Wright Mart, the super center, kind of like Walmart. All the people, they just want to get in. They see other people are in early. Why are they in early? People start to barge in. People start killing each other. And that's the that's the opening. That's the first maybe 15 minutes of the movie. Uh, you get to the big riot scene, which was like totally unbelievable. I mean, people used to get pretty rowdy on Black Friday, but, I mean, this was just a little unbelievable. So the circumstance and why the movie even happened was just totally above and beyond uh, reality. So after you could kind of take your mind away from it, you know, this is a kind of a mindless, entertaining film. Uh, this is one of those movies that you have to turn your brain off because if you turn your brain on, you might anger yourself. Some of the kills are very stylized. I don't know if I've ever seen an Eli Roth film. I am familiar with his name and the type of movie he makes, but I'm not sure if I've ever seen anything by him. So when I see quotes that this is Eli Roth at his best, I mean, I could assume that the guy does very gory things. And some of the kills in this movie are very violent. Some of them are a little too extreme, not graphically, but just like kind of unrealistic. So this movie does feel a little unrealistic with some of the things that, that happen with the violence, I guess you could say. Um, and I don't think the screenplay is necessarily that great either. It's not written by Eli Roth, but I, I just think that it's not as focused maybe as it should have been. They try to give the characters some death. Depth, the death as well, yes. Uh, the <laughs> the lead actress, she wears a piece of jewelry with her late mother on the on the inside of the picture that she continues to look at to get her through the film. That they try to, I don't think they try to tug on your heartstrings, but they try to give you something to, to get behind the character. And look, I think she's likable, but I don't think I necessarily cared about her. A lot of the other characters as well in her friend group. Uh, I either found unlikable or jerks and people that I can't find myself getting behind. The characters weren't great. Patrick Dempsey's in the film, and he clearly did this for a paycheck. Now, he is having a lot of fun in this movie, and I think there's one reason why he signed up to do it. Um, and he's having a lot of fun. And I, you know, I, I, I liked what he was doing. He was giving a crazy accent. The accent in the film that he has especially comes out really thick towards the end of it. So he, he was just doing his own thing, having a ball and, and getting his getting his six dollars and fifty cents or however much he made for making this movie at a fifteen million dollar budget, which made like thirty million domestically. So the film I, I would assume had profit and the worldwide it made like fifty million. So the movie was certainly profitable. Uh and they did green light a second one, which Eli Roth is is directing. And he might even be writing as well. I don't know if he's co-writing or what the deal is, but um, that's coming on 2025, I believe. And that certainly does set up for a sequel. Um, do I want a sequel? I will watch it. I don't think this is like the worst movie ever, but I don't necessarily think it's a great movie. I don't know. I think I'm kind of indifferent to it, honestly. When it started, I was like, this is really bad because of how cheesy it was. But the cheese kind of goes away, and it... It just kind of goes by. It's entertaining, and I think it's kind of mediocre, but I, I think I, I would find myself rewatching it. I think it's just serviceable, 
And it does what it set out to do. And this is a three out of five star movie for me. Nothing too special about it. I think that if you wanted to watch this, I think you'd probably have fun with it. But like I said, it's one of those movies that you kind of got to turn your brain off. Because if you turn your brain on and you kind of are put into pieces together and you realize why certain things are happening, you say, well, that was this is kind of... I don't know. This is this is just pretty damn dumb. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at with that. Guys, comment down below. Did you see Thanksgiving? What did you think about it? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Future reviews coming. We got the Zone of Interest has finally hit my local movie theater, and I've waited for a few films to to qualify. The 2023 films of I have to see still that I've waited to potentially qualify for the best of 2023 list. And I think that that list is just about finished. I'll see the zone of interest. And after that, I think I'm going to start to prepare my top 10 best movies of 2023 list. So that'll be here within the next, I would say, two weeks. Guys, you can also follow me on Twitter, Ranking72 and or X, whatever you want to call it. And also Instagram and TikTok. And King of Rises 131, that's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for Thanksgiving. And until next time. Over and out.